the peace of the Lord be with you. What a week this has been. And ringing in my ears uh, for the last few days has been that glorious line from the Pirates of Penzance when the Pirate King commands all the pirates uh, to surrender to the police in the Pirates of Penzance because, he says, with all their hearts, they love their queen, Queen Victoria then, of course. But we have been experiencing some of that this last week. The death of one sovereign and the accession of another. And the prayers this evening are based on some prayers published by the Methodist Church on the death of a sovereign. The God of hope grant us peace now and all our days. Amen. Beloved in Christ, at this time of death and mourning, we are confident that God is with us. A few moments of silence as we pray, as we remember God's servant Elizabeth, our late sovereign lady and queen. Gracious God, your love for your children is eternal. Neither life nor death can separate those who trust in you. Unite us to yourself, that together with your servant Elizabeth, we may rejoice in your light and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Lord, our Lord, who died and rose again for us. Amen. Some selected verses from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, that I may live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to marvel in God's temple. You will hide me in your shelter in the day of trouble. Conceal me under the cover of your tent and set me high upon a rock. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. Of you my heart has said, seek God's face. Your face, O Lord, do I seek. Instruct me in your way and lead me on an even path. I am sure I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait and hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And some words from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, reading from verse 22, and then a few verses from chapter 22. I saw no temple in the city of, uh, for God Almighty and the Lamb were themselves the temple. There was no sun or moon. God's glory was its light and the Lamb was its lamp. The nations will walk by the city's light, and the rulers of the earth will bring their treasures. The city's gates will be never shut by day, and there will be no night there. The glory and honour of the nations will be brought into it. The throne of the Almighty and the Lamb will be there, and God's subjects will serve faithfully. They will see the Most High face to face and bear God's name on their foreheads. Night will be no more. They will need no light from lamps or the sun, for our God will give them light, and they will reign forever. So let us pray. Crucified Saviour, you save us from the fear of death. Gentle Shepherd, you bring rest to our souls. Lamb of God, 
you grant us peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so we say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us give thanks for the victory of Christ over death. Glory and thanks be given to you, Almighty God, because in your great love for the world you gave your Son to be our Saviour. He lived our life, bore our griefs, and died our death upon the cross. We thank you that you have brought him back from death with power and great glory, and that he has conquered sin and death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all. God of all, we give you thanks and praise. And we give thanks for the noble life and witness of our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth. Eternal God, we praise you for your goodness and mercy that followed your servant Elizabeth all the days of her life, and for her faithfulness in the tasks to which you called her. God of all, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you that for your loving servant, the tribulations of this world are over, and death is past. And we pray that you will bring us with her to the joy of your perfect kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we also ask God's blessing on our time of grief and mourning. God of comfort and grace. Draw near to all who mourn the death of your servant, Elizabeth, our Queen, and grant to her successor and all the royal family the gift of your peace and the strength of your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And ever aware of the future into which we all travel together, we pray for God's guidance as we go forward. Grant us, O God, in all our duties, your help. In all our perplexities, your guidance. In all our dangers, your protection. And in all our sorrows, your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And it is right that we remember our new sovereign. King Charles III. And so a prayer for our King. Almighty God, we give you thanks for Charles, your servant and our King, for his devotion to his family, nation and commonwealth, and to the earth, our fragile home. We thank you for his faith in you and his love for all people, and for his call to be our sovereign, in such a time as this. Bless and protect Charles in all the years to come. Grant him long to reign over us and give him gifts of wisdom and discernment as together we face the opportunities and the challenges of our age. Bless Camilla, Queen Consort, William, Prince of Wales, and all the royal family in this time of mourning and change. May we all continue to abide in your love, draw strength from the deep wells of our hope in you, and dedicate ourselves afresh to your rule of justice and peace for all. Through Christ our Lord we pray. And now may the infinite love and mercy of God bring the whole church, living and departed in the Lord Jesus, to a joyful resurrection 
and the fulfilment of God's eternal kingdom and the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all and all those we love, both living and who have died, now and forever. Amen.